You have continuing coverage now after the death of a long serving Cabell County Councilwoman. 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis was at a special meeting this afternoon and joins us now from Huntington with details on how they plan to move forward with the commissioner. Natalie. Well, Marilee, the Cabell County Commission has declared the vacancy and they say it will be an election that determines who will replace Nancy Cartmill. But they tell me this will not be an easy task. Flags fly at half staff and a black drape hangs on the Cabell County Courthouse in remembrance of Commissioner Nancy Cartmill. It wasn't a shock. Um, she hadn't been to a meeting since October um, due to illness, but it, we're never prepared to lose a colleague and one that's been a mainstay in the community for you know, many decades. Now, this commission is faced with the task of filling the empty seat left behind. It will be difficult. Uh, Nancy had been here, had served with her and Kelly for two years, and we worked together. We didn't always agree, but we certainly worked work together on what went on. As to a uh, replacement for Nancy, yes, I'm sure we can find a person. Find a person to fill Nancy's shoes will be a little more difficult with her uh, understanding of the system, her work in the state and the county. The process is also a bit lengthy. First, the commission issued a proclamation vacating this seat. A proclamation of the Cabell County Commission regarding the county commission vacancy. And opening it up for eligible voters from the same district and the same political party to run for the seat in the May 2022 primary. Because this vacancy happened yesterday, then there will be a special filing period. And so um, candidates can file if they're residing in that district and they meet the qualifications. The winners of the primary would face each other in the general and then they would um, serve to the remaining um, uh, remainder of her term. Sabania says the remainder of Cartmill's term is a little over four years. It would be nice to have somebody who has lived there who understands their problems and can bring those and hopeful uh, solutions to the problems to us so we can work on those. Now they still have to temporarily fill that position through November and it will be up to the remaining commissioners to do so. If they can't agree on who to put in there, it will be up to the Republican Executive Committee to submit three candidates who they will then choose from. Reporting live in Huntington, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. Natalie, thanks for that report.